Hey guys, how's it going? John Durant here. Hey guys, what's going on? Johnny Randy here. Uh, this is going to be a drill talking about how to start your day off preparing to hit. Um, you don't just go into the cage, take full blown 100% hacks, or go on the field, take 100% hacks. Um, it's, it's not going to benefit you in any way. So as you get older, um, you learn ways to develop your routine, what feels good to you. Uh, if you go away to college, some schools may have like prerequisites you have to do every day before you swing. So top hand, bottom hand, small bat uh, with both hands at the end. Or like in my junior college where we had to catch a deep. But um, I like doing these every day regardless. And if, if I have to do that stuff first, I will, absolutely. Um, but this stuff I feel like really helps me. So every day when you wake up, uh, your body doesn't feel the same. It's going to be something a little bit different, right? So your legs might be a little heavy. Your, your upper body might feel a little tight, whatever it is. If you lift the day before, um, like right now it's 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. And I am a little stiff, not going to lie to you. Um, so these swings, out, we'll see how they go. But the purpose of these are um, basically to break down my swing as slow as possible. So I'll feel if I chicken wing high and I'm losing my barrel back or if I'm late releasing my barrel and I'm pushing the ball to right field. Um, or if I'm not staying through the ball long enough through contact. So basically I'm going to break it down as slow as possible. I call these feel good swings. So it's like two to three rounds, six to eight swings. Um, I actually got this drill from Jose Batista and I love it. Um, I definitely feel like it helps me start my day. Playing with you, but. Well, a big thing for me is uh, timing and rhythm. Um, so I do a few things uh, on the tee every day before I go out on the field and hit bat in practice. I first hit off the tee, then I get some flips to kind of get loose and get my rhythm. But one thing that I've picked up in the last few years that I didn't do in the past is before I even get started swinging full speed or hitting the ball hard and doing the things that make us feel warm and fussy inside, I try to get a f one or two rounds of five or six swings in slow motion. I feel like it lets me know what kinks I might have on that particular day in my swing. So I feel it when my front side opens up or when my top hand goes too quick or when I'm getting under the ball. So I try to get five or six swings, um, two rounds about in slow motion. So um, I just take a normal cut, just try to do it as slow as I can and just hit a nice soft line drive back up the middle. I don't know if you ever tried that, but... I have never tried it. That's, un that's unbelievable. Why um, didn't you tell me that? I highly suggest that. So I normally just go and try to do it as slow as I can. See right there, I felt my top hand dominate too much. And the next one, I try to fix it. Um, I do that about five or six times. And then when I start taking full speed swings, you know, I already know what to stay away from. Because on that particular day, my tough hand might be too quick. Um, and it's really helped me. So, here we go. Pretty good. Not too bad. Um, another thing to add in, I do like using a bat. It's like a size or two, a little big for me. Uh, it's doing this so I can really feel the weight and in, in the, in the way that my barrel's going, my path is to the baseball. Um, so, this one's actually a 34 32. And I'm typically 33, 30, 33 and a half, 31 and a half, um, somewhere around there. So when I have this little bit heavier bat in my hand, I'll be able to feel um, kind of the way it's going. If it's a really light bat, you have a tendency to speed up your hands. And when you do that, sometimes you can't really feel what you're doing. So four baseballs in a row. I stayed just to the right side of second base, uh, which I'm not upset about because I like staying right center anyway. I think my approach is always there. And if I'm a little bit early, uh, stay center to left center. Um, so, but my problem with this is I'm not releasing my barrel on time. So I'm not getting to this, I'm getting to this. So that's not what I want to happen ideally, obviously. Um, so that's pretty much it for this uh, in regards to feel good swings. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the, please leave them in the box below. Hello, tongue twister. Um, if not, hit me on my Instagram. It's at Johnny Ray Baseball. Thanks, guys.